Hey everyone, Riley here with Dark Arrow. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than our normal progress updates on the Dark Arrow 1 prototype, but it's still an airplane related video, so I'm pretty excited about the topic. Basically, we created a CAD library of standard aircraft hardware. It's free, anyone can use it, and I'm going to tell you more about it. We get contacted pretty frequently by university students and aviation enthusiasts asking us questions about 3D modeling aircraft or aircraft parts. Normally they have questions like, how do you 3D model a wing? Or do you have a model of a specific engine I'm trying to design around? And we get asked these questions enough that it sparked the idea for the CAD library. The CAD library is just a central source for 3D models that might be useful to anyone working on an aircraft project. We already had a great place to set this up. If you've ever been to our website, darkarrow.com, you've probably come across our knowledge base. The knowledge base has a bunch of reference information about aircraft design and manufacturing. We added another section for the CAD library. So if you go to the Dark Arrow knowledge base and click on the 3D models box, you can access all the models we have there. You don't need CAD software or a CAD workstation to view them since they're all hosted through Onshape. You can view them right in your web browser. There were a couple of objectives we had for this project. The first one was just that we wanted to create a central source of models that are relevant to aircraft designers. There are some other CAD libraries out there like GrabCAD is a popular one, uh, and even McMaster has a lot of 3D models available. But the problem with these other sources is that they don't have the hardware for aircraft specific stuff, or they're more geared towards hobby use. And we wanted to create something that was aircraft specific. Another objective that we had was that we wanted it to be accessible to the aviation community. So Onshape is a great tool for this because it's cloud-based, so you can access it from anywhere and you don't necessarily need a CAD workstation or even a license of the software to view the models. The overarching idea here is that we want to see better aircraft get built, and we think this is a great resource to make that happen. Let's take a look at a few models here. I'll go through some examples, and hopefully I can communicate the value of this CAD library. We'll look at an engine. Right now we only have one engine on the CAD library, but I want to get some more. This is the UL520IS engine. You can click on this and it should load up in your browser. This is what we're using on the Dark Arrow 1. Obviously there's some really beneficial reasons you'd want to have access to a 3D model of an engine that you're designing an aircraft around. You can get an idea of the basic layout of the engine as well as dimensions and just kind of understand what you're working with. So if you're making an enclosure like a cowling around the engine, this is going to help you do that. But even if you're not designing an airplane, maybe you're just using this engine in an aircraft that you're building, uh, a kit that you selected from the market, having access to this before you actually buy the engine is pretty useful. Way better than just having 2D drawings with some reference dimensions. Technically this is incomplete because it's missing many of the accessories that would be required to make it run. So we don't have the oil cooler, uh, the wiring harness, the ECUs, or the plumbing for the fuel lines. But we could get a start on modeling the fuel system for this engine with some of the hardware we have on the knowledge base. If you go back in the CAD library and click on the AN fittings, uh, a bunch of different hardware will load up. We've got elbows, T's, unions, plugs, bushings, a whole bunch of different stuff in here. And in fact, there's so many fittings in here, we don't have them all modeled up. Uh, the way they're handled is with a configuration table. So that's over here on the left, you see configurations and you can select different sizes from a drop down. So the, the basic geometry of these parts is defined through some variables like the, the threads and these hex features and the, the bore size through this union. You can select the specific size and then Onshape uh, populates the specifics of the geometry based off what you select. So we use a lot of uh, this dash six size and AN 815-6D fitting. That's for a 3 8 inch line, which is what we use in the fuel system. You can see as I selected that it automatically updated. But maybe you're going to use a smaller size, say in the brake lines, uh, like a dash two or a dash three size. You can select that and it updates accordingly. So you can go in here and look around. There's a whole bunch more. I won't go through every one of them. Uh, something related to this though, I mentioned the brake lines. You're going to need uh, wheels and brakes to attach to that. We have uh, wheels and brakes in the uh, CAD library. If you select that, it should open up. So this is the wheel size that we're using on the Dark Arrow 1. It's a 5x5 five five wheel. Super common size. Pretty much all the two-seat light aircraft on the market are using this size. I know all the vans, RVs, uh, two-seaters, I think, are using a 5x5 five five wheel. I have this on my Cozy as well, and it's what we're using on the Dark Arrow. So if you're designing an aircraft, 
uh, a light aircraft with this size wheel, it'd be nice to have access to the CAD. Maybe you need to figure out the size of wheel fairings or if it's a retractable gear design, you gotta size the, the wheel well. So having access to this would be pretty useful. I should mention that this is not a perfect model. I modeled this based off just taking dimensions off the wheels that we have. So it's not like you're gonna be able to reverse engineer this off of what we have, but definitely enough to get you going on a design. So any of these models we have on here, you can right click on them and select export and then you can export them in all sorts of different file formats. So Parasolid, Step, IGES, STL, maybe you're using a different CAD package and you need a different file type, you can select that accordingly. Or you can use it natively in Onshape like we're doing. If you're new to Onshape and you wanna learn the program, I should mention if you click on this Question mark in the upper right corner, you can select the Learning Center and it will take you to Onshape's Learning Center. They have a ton of resources here, uh, training modules uh, and different training, whether it's instructor-led or self-paced courses, there's technical briefings and videos. Really everything you need in here to make yourself kind of dangerous and skilled in Onshape. If you're getting into airplane design or vehicle design, I recommend having an understanding of top-down design. You can select this and it'll give you an idea of uh, well, how we approach design, we use uh, top-down uh, design methodology. So definitely have a good understanding of that if you're going into vehicle design. Now that you've seen all this, it's time for my plug for what I want from you, the viewer. We want more CAD models and more contributors to help grow this resource. We've already had a couple people reaching out and offering up CAD models. Thanks, Rick, for all the fittings and hardware that you've offered up. Uh, I also want to get some more engine models up here. We've got a PT6 model and a Merlin V12 I think would be pretty cool to throw up on the CAD library. I do also want to get more of the standard engine models like the Lycomings and Continentals. Uh, Rotax would be really nice since they're really popular on light sport aircraft. So if you have access to any of those CAD models and think they'd be good here, uh, hit me up. The catch is that these need to be legitimate models. I don't want this to turn into just a dump of random CAD models. Essentially, we have a standard for what goes up here. I have some ideas for useful tools I want to add here as well. I have an idea for a propeller geometry generator that would make propeller CAD models through a configuration table or input variables. So basically you'd input the propeller diameter, the number of blades, the pitch, and the power, and it would spit out a basic propeller CAD model uh, with those configuration variables. Maybe not fancy enough to actually build a propeller from, but enough to at least give students a space claim when they're starting out their engineering design projects. So if anyone wants to start on something like that and then hand it off to us, we would definitely host it on the Dark Arrow CAD library. Anyway, I hope that gets everyone fired up about this resource. I know it's just a start, but I'm hoping with the reach that we have that we can actually build this into a pretty useful tool and maybe uh, accelerate the development timelines of some people's aviation projects. Uh, I'll leave links in the description of this video for both Onshape and the Dark Arrow Knowledge Base if you wanna check out those resources. You can leave a comment below if you have ideas for CAD models that you think would be really useful for us to add to uh, the CAD library. Otherwise, thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.